What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a slider on a WordPress website using Elementor for free, okay? So the slider is gonna look almost like this one for example. You can edit the text, the subtitle, the bottom, apply a link, change the colors, the effect. As you're gonna be able to review, the slider is fully responsive, okay? So, the slider is gonna look nice in any kind of screen, even without a reloading. Simple, easy, and effective. Of course, for free, okay? So, first of all, we're gonna need to install and activate our borderless WordPress plugin and the Elementor Website Builder WordPress plugin as well. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here where I'll explain how to install the Borderless WordPress plugin, but it's really easy, okay? wp bird plugin is at new, just search for Borderless and install this plugin. This plugin gonna give you extra options for free to expand, to make bigger, to empower your website, okay? Your WordPress website. So, we highly recommend that you install this plugin. There is good tools for free and borders is one of them, okay? Just like your Elementor WordPress plugin, even on the free version, okay? So, we're gonna keep all for free, we're gonna keep all good. So, before we can start this, please hit the subscribe button and like this video because you're gonna enjoy the information, you're gonna enjoy the tool and you can be updated and notified if some new videos like this one comes out, okay? Go to the points. After the plugins is installed and activated, go with Edit with Elementor in any page that you would like to apply your slider, okay? This is gonna load the Elementor editor. Let me apply a little zoom to the page. And here is the result we have. We can apply the slider whatever we want, okay? I'm gonna be adding in the end of the page, but after this we're gonna move to it to the front, okay? And how to find it? We can search into the top left corner of our screen, into the search field. We can search for the slider, or we can go to the borderless set of tools. This is a growing list of widgets that borderless plugin applies to your WordPress editor, okay? So, in one of my previous videos, we did explain how to use the marquee text. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here. It's a really, really awesome option of WordPress. But in this video, we're gonna be using the slider. Of course, according to the time where you're gonna be able to see this video tutorial, it will have more options because our devs are working hard to apply new options for free to your WordPress editor, okay? But for this, go to the slider. Select the slider, drag and drop it into your page. And here is one example, slide one. The lot in Ipsum and a bottom. Simple as this. We have three sliders, okay? So here's the arrows, here's the dots. We can click right here in the slider one, for example, change the background, the content and the style. For example, we can apply an image in the case that we want. Let me search for an image with a darker background. This one, for example. And here's the result. We can change the color, the background color. We can change the position of the image, for example. Once this image is in a bigger one, no much change is gonna be able to be viewed, okay? We can set the image to repeat. We can change the size of the image, for example. We recommend the cover, but you can play with it. We can apply CSS filters to change the image, for example, to apply a blur to the image, to apply a contrast, 
for example, in the case that you don't like, just click in the back default, okay? Here is one of the effects that you can apply and the background overlay, in the case that you want to apply some overlay to the background, okay? Here is the result. No needs for it, I'm gonna keep this as it is. And you can edit it in every single of the sliders. Easy, fast and for free, okay? The content, where you can change the, con the text, the title, the bottom, we can apply a link to the bottom. For example, we can apply an CSS ID and CSS class in the case that you need it, okay? And the style, we can set as custom, okay? So we can change it to horizontal, from top to bottom, okay? and can change the alignment, for example. And it repeats into the second, the third, or any slider that you have on your page. Now, moving to the next option, we have the slider layout, okay? The H of the slider, okay? We can set to show title or not, to show description or not, and to show a button or not. The title HTML tag, this is really important for SEO, okay? So pay an extra attention to this part. Age 2, it's the recommended, okay? Age 1, you only can have one per page, so in the case that you want to be your title, set as age 1. If not, set as A2. And this how this is gonna looks like, okay? The description HTML tag, okay? Same right here. In the case that you want. Now the slider options. We have auto play to play the slider automatically, okay? We have the pause on hover. If you hover over the mouse, this will no longer pause the slider animation. The autoplay speed, we have 3 seconds, okay? We can increase it to 4, for example. The draggable, the draggable it's just when you click and hover. This is really nice on mobile navigation, okay? We recommend that you keep this on, set as yes. Now the infinite screw. Adaptative H, okay? This is a really nice option, okay, for our slider. Because this is gonna let the slider calculate the H possible on your page, okay? The full screen. Another good option in the case that you do not want to worry about different screen sizes. According to the slide you have, this may be useful. The fade. And the thumbs navigation. We can have the slider set as a gallery, for example, with things that you click to see the bigger images. This is really useful in the case that you are doing, for example, a real estate website where you need to share photos of a house, for example, okay, of, for an apartment. 
This is really, really useful. If you click on the thumb, you're going to move it to the slider, okay? Now, we're going to move to the... Now that we have the slider in the way that we want, we're going to move to the style. And this is where the fun actually begins, because you can edit every single part of the slider, okay? So, for example, the content widget the paddings, the position, the title, same as well, we can change the color of the title, the typography, the size, the font family, the margin, the description as well, change the padding, the font family and the colors. The bottom, we can edit the bottom in the way that we want, even the bottom hover can be edited, okay? Background type, the color, the border type, the border radius, in the case that we want to make the bottom a little circle, for example just like this we can change the paddings we can change the arrows that is this effect that move the slider to the one side to another okay we're gonna be able to reveal this later and the dots that is the options that appear when you move the slider one by one, okay? Let me just remove the infinite screw option so we can have the dots back and the arrows back. Go right here. Now, let's edit the arrows. I would like to change the arrow color, for example, to a uh, white one and the same for the dots I'm gonna change the dots for a white one as well as you can see now my arrows are white just like the buttons now, in the case that I want to have this section set as full widget, click into the edit section right here. Change the content widget to full widget. Stretch raw. And we are good to go. Now we can move the slider to the top of our page. or to any part of your page that you want. And now your page have an amazing slider for free. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. Download our Enzo free WordPress theme that is the best free WordPress theme that you can download on wordpress.org. Same for borderless WordPress plugin, that is the best plugin multi page builder add ons, okay? That can create this amazing slider. And review the links that I'm gonna leave in the first comment of this video. There are very useful links for sites where you can purchase a domain name for 99 cents, for example, or even download Photoshop templates, themes, and plugins for free, okay? So, good design assets, good prices, I recommend, take a moment to review. Please, share this video with your friends, family, like, leave a comment, this helps us a lot. And if it brings you some value, feel free to share with your friends, it helps again, okay? So, if you have a question, feel free to use the comments below, I'm gonna be happy to talk with you, to discuss with you, okay? So, leave a comment, and... 
don't forget to follow us on the social media. We are Visual Moro in every social channel, okay? And I see you later. All the best!